This is a demo of my low-code web app builder. It's developed in ASP.NET Core 2.2 and generates a fully functional single-page application in minutes directly from a SQL Server database. It does not use any JavaScript libraries such as Angular, React or Vue and only use jQuery and vanilla JavaScript. And it is easily customizable. So I will start with creating a new parent grid. I'm just clicking up the top the header. As you can see, I have a parent grid with names as the table with the columns. And all you have to do now is just click on generate code and it generates all the code necessary for the CRUD grid parent. Only takes a few seconds. All has been done in for Visual Studio 2019, as you can see, generated code. Just waiting, and then all we have to do now is exit out of the browser to go back to Visual Studio. Okay, now we've come back to Visual Studio 2019, and we can see the parent grid views there. So now we just have to rerun the application to show the parent grid names being shown. Just waiting for it to come up, rebuild. And now we have the parent grid created. It's up in the header called names. Click on that and it'll show the grid. There's three records that are being put into this table names, as you can see, and it has all the capabilities, sort. You can edit a record, you can save, Got validation, JavaScript and server side, and you can add a new record. And also you can delete a record. So all the common CRUD functionality and a search, do an advanced search on each column, then go back. Okay, now we want to add a child to this parent grid of names. So all we have to do is click on the detail button and automatically a screen comes up where you will add in the child name details, the table and columns. And we just click on generate code and this once again will generate all the C sharp and JavaScript code in the background for this child grid against the names parent. And once again, we just exit the browser going back to Visual Studio 2019. Okay, now we're back in the application. Now we can see the child grids against the parent. So we click on a parent record and there we can see the child grid client care created. There's two records already in there. It does all the CRUD abilities. Edit a record, add a record and delete a record. Once again you can edit the parent here and go back straight to the parent records. Okay, now we want to add a grandchild, so to add a grandchild, we just click on detail again and up come the grandchild table, rec um, table with columns, generate code as before, same as before with the child, we're creating a grandchild, uh, JavaScript and C sharp code automatically in the background, and there we are, and then we click back, exit the browser to go back to Visual Studio 2019. Okay, once again we can see the grandchild view client management. Now, we want to see the grandchild in the application, so we just click on F5 or run the application and get to rebuild. Okay, we're back in the application and now we're going to go and show you the child grid, grandchild, I mean. So we're in the parent record, there's a child record, client care. And now we have the client management record, the grandchild of the child. So once again, it has all CRUD abilities. And you can edit the child and go back to the parent, edit the parent and go back to the parent list. So that's all done very quickly. You can put in a parent, child, grandchild very quickly into this system. And also it has the ability to also delete or add another child straight away or well, if you made a mistake in this child would you can delete this one with a delete and start over 
and similarly you can do this with the grandchild so you add as many tabs I think up to six tabs grandchild here and six childs so you can do this very quickly it only takes minutes to do this against multiple tables that have other child and grandchild links I will demonstrate how you delete uh, a grandchild, you just click on delete and automatically deletes all the code in JavaScript C sharp that was written for that and you can start again. Once we have, we have to exit the browser again of course to go back to Visual Studio 2019. Okay we're back into the Visual Studio 2019 and as you can see the client management code views have disappeared or been deleted so you can start again. So all we have to do We'll, we run the application once again and we'll just show you that it has disappeared, has been deleted. Okay, we're back in the application. We'll just show you the parent names. We go into the child and if we go to the grandchild, you can see that it has gone and we can start again with another new grandchild. Similarly, we can do a delete of the child. And you can also delete the parent table grid by just putting in names and clicking on delete generated code. So this is you can do over and over again with this system and it's um, easily customizable.